Okay, quick update on the cargo ship uh, made of MDF from TT Combat. And, you know, here we go. Um, I'm, I guess I'm going to call it finished. So, gluing it all together. I mean, it comes on these, like, flat um, punch-out bits of, um, yeah, flat stock. And uh, gluing it all together was a nightmare, actually. I've got to say. Uh, so many tiny, tiny components and the whole thing drove me crackers. But obviously we're dealing with wood and I really wanted to do what I could to make it look like uh, metal that has aged and, you know, not been taken care of. So I'm principally looking at this as like a sump dock yard setting for something along the lines of Necromunda. Um, those kind of scale of games. And, you know, it's really, really big. And it came with all the cargo crates and stuff that I've put, a number of the wooden ones that I've put in a, in another video. And there's some, uh, yeah, I mean, basically it was a case of putting it all together. I mean, I've got other videos that detail all of this, you know, the PVA ceiling and all the other stuff that, that went into place. And then I took a, um, basically an airbrush and sprayed the whole thing with kind of a light blue. Uh, so, yeah, before doing that, obviously, I've gone in with the silver spray first and then I went for the hairspray technique where you stick a hairspray on the top and then you, you, you know, you airbrush on um, this other colour. So I've got an airbrush specifically for this job. Uh, first time using an airbrush myself. Um, I've, I've had a go on a friend's one, but that was once, but, you know, for for a project all on my own without supervision um and yeah you know it's then a case of weathering it back because basically what happens is you you varnish the silver underneath right so that seals it that's like that's not going anywhere and then the airbrushed blue that i put it's kind of like a baby blue the camera's very very blue it's a very blue tone so it's not as well that's more like it. it's just switched to more the actual more the actual blue it's like a sort of baby blue um yeah nice kind of color really subtle um and so you stick that on top but you can't brush it on because it's just going to you know take um the the, the layer off um so yeah it's got to be sprayed on really and then you just take a water and a brush or whatever and you just heavily distress it and just rub it long enough and you'll start to get these weathering effects and it you know it paid off it worked in the end so, you know, what have we got? We've got the, the inside there. I did kind of uh, paint that up and the roof will come off to, you know, allow you to sort of look in there or whatever. I'm not going to try pulling that because that was an absolute sod to cram in. And, you know, it was just a case of you know, rusting, and corroding again and all those kind of things and thinking about where the wear should be. So, you know, like coming from the doors um, and just trying to get... Uh, you know, a bit of build up and grime and things. And, you know, the front here, like, because this thing's obviously been riding the waves and, you know, dirt and, and, and um, the different forms of wear that you would get. Again, just little spots of rust, little bits here and there uh, that we'll pick up. All right. Those handles are really annoying. So you've got the, the ring on the outside and then the ring on the inside as well. And then they've got a little connected tiny piece of wood that's right in the middle there, that little tiny piece of wood. And you've got to glue that in and that keeps it and the one on the inside in. There's no way you'd be able to keep this open. They, they put like an extra strong hinge on the wood. I say extra strong, it doesn't punch straight out. But it's so weak. You wouldn't be able to keep that as an open door and just leave it. It's going to fall off. Event. I mean, it's not going to take much to just fall off. And then you you don't have a properly hinged door. So I've just glued them shut because I, I didn't I didn't want to try and like set up hinges or anything like that. And just tried to pay a little bit of attention here to the to, to rusting up the hinges if I could um, at the very least. And, you know, some of the wear on the, the railings and the kind of places you might see that. Uh, yeah, let's look at the other side so you know it's it's different again but you know again where the tide mark would ride up the boat just trying to do that a bit um you know a bit 
a bit more dirty here, a bit more distressed here, and yeah. And we get to here and the stairs, and you know, we've got like the um more wear and corrosion and things going on. So it's 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 just that that feeling, it hasn't been looked after, it's kind of a junker. I didn't want to glue anything else on it and modify it. And the thinking on that was that you know I could get some make some sort of scatter terrain pieces like little barbed wire um uh, fences or something like that that's about that size and just place it on so it's like a little um, gun nest or whatever that they could have on the roof and things like that and then I could just pop it on there but also use it as scatter terrain where needed and again there's some more little funny details like the the no smoking sign there which um, I thought was ironically funny I didn't paint it or try and bring it up just like the cargo containers is a case of you know, dulling everything down and going quite subtle actually but um you know that's what i'm left with it's it's a great big massive beast actually um way bigger than i expected it to be but uh you know that's what we're looking at the tt combat cargo ship um solid quality overall I, I was expecting to have to brace it underneath with something um but in the end i didn't have to it all feels pretty solid um I've put you know enough spray and PVA across the whole thing that I think the PVA soaked upwards into the joins, the joins that go up, carry on underneath, and have secured it. It feels really secure. I mean, I'm not going to try and grab one end and the other end and snap them and pull them apart. I think that probably would go. But um, yeah, overall, overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it will fit into the setting. And then it's just a case of trying to get the docks right. And oh boy, that's another story. See you at the next one.